leave it and never give up. He's got a very large heart and a really comfortable working amount under him. We always we, we try to emulate his personality and try to uh, emulate all the uh, qualities that he has. He had that resistance to fear and he took that one step forward. And that is all what I think, that is what makes him a great person. Shiva Sahib, our people are very dear and very dear to us. Shiva Sahib, one time someone takes a chance to take a look at it, that I have to do this work, so that work will be completely changed. He has been a true role model, a true sense of inspiration for us, a true sense of motivation for us. I wanted to see action and I wanted to live an adventurous life. And since the time I have joined this battalion, I have never looked back. Whether it is mountaineering, whether it is jumping from the aircraft, whether it is fighting, I have got all of it. <laughs> Saurabh Singh Shekhawat and his men are trained for combat. Stationed in the far northeast, there is a force that is one of its kind in the Indian Army. Special forces are a body of special troops which are uh, mandated, to, mandated to carry out special operations. And, uh, the mandate comes from the higher ups, higher headquarters. We all are volunteers. And uh, we have chosen this life, so that is first thing, and rest is our training. The training is selection process and the training. There is some fire burning inside, and they want to be different. And they have that uh, sense of adventure to do something in their lives. And they want to seek action, they want to... lives for the cause of country high on adrenaline this entire battalion has a zeal for adventure and it has become an integral part of their training it is always a uh, life and death situation we are into it now we are all volunteers and we are into it so when a task comes up we take it and now we know when we are going to go inside there will be a firefight if we perform we will be alive if we don't perform we will be dead I started mountaineering in 1997, again, you know, out of, uh, uh, it started uh, with the <coughs> training, uh, I went to Hail to Dwarfbury School. I climbed uh, around th uh, 14 mountains till date, and uh, including Everest, Mount Everest th three times. Mountaineering is a good sport. It's a very, you know, you can say extreme sport and the peculiarity of this sport is that, uh, you know, you are, uh, there are no spectators, there is no cheering party, you know, there are no medals and uh, there is no one to look at you or cheer you up, you are alone, on your own on the mountain, so it is between you and the mountain, when you climb, 
you are actually not uh, you know when you summit you are not actually conquering the mountain you are conquering yourself so this is the uh, loktok lake which you were talking about as you see uh, the biomass which you see in front of you it is this is called foam and you can uh, now imagine how difficult it is to wade through uh, this uh, floating biomass and if you if you look in the middle of the lake you can see a cluster of huts they are actually uh, these huts are made on that floating bio biomass the maintenance of surprise was a problem so initially we decided that uh, we will go swimming actually this operation evolved in itself uh, within a week we realized that this was a no go because my boys were getting exhausted and uh, few of us got admitted in hospital then finally we decided that in rome you do as romans do so we uh, procured these boats and uh, then we started practicing this small pond is, was our uh, initial training ground and we did our uh, boat training here and within uh, you know 20 25 days everyone uh, each one of us was rowing the boat like a fish This is the place from where we carried out our surveillance. And uh, we then came to this place, and then we plotted uh, the grid reference, uh, you know, map reference uh, on the map, and uh, then we trained this photoscope in the same direction, and you know, within 15 minutes. we could see the target with this photoscope and with that uh, long range surveillance equipment uh, we kept the target under observation day and night now this is the area where the target was as you see uh, as i had explained you know, these were the civilian huts there are 14 huts uh, that was 3 years back so there is some change here so the problem was uh, which was in front of us was that target was ahead of the civilian huts and they, these huts were occupied by the civilian slowly we were moving towards the target and i could see the sentry and i could see the perimeter patrol going on that was the time i realized that you know i am feeling you know slightly chill on my back so then i realized that we are going with the wind and uh, the wind will because sentry will be able to hear the noise of the rowing so that was the time we all stopped i told everyone to stop and then take a detour so we all turned back it was it it created a lot of uh, time delay and lot of uh, you know uh, inconvenience to my other boys who were uh, acting as stop everyone had to turn back then we got stuck in the uh, foam like this but somehow you know we waded through this foam and we took a detour and we came from uh, east direction against the wind and that was the time you know we uh, got a good uh, floating island 50 meters from the target okay, the uniqueness of this operation was that uh, there was no ground to fight and we were uh, in full realization that if fire comes on up, us you know there is no escape parties action station and as per the rehearsal uh, lakshman singh was the first one who was supposed to open fire uh, and uh, behind uh, him we all fired and the fire was very accurate within 4 minutes everything was over we waited for the day to break and then we entered the target and we saw uh, that we had fired very accurately and uh, those who were there 
at the target end they were dead and uh, we carried out the thorough search and then we went to the civilian huts also they were all petrified people then we reassured them that uh, we are army and uh, you know no harm will come to you and i was very happy that you know there was no collateral damage as i see in this lake now you know there is no tension here you know we can move freely and we are moving freely and in 2008 uh, when we did the operation this was not the situation then you know by entering the lake went that you might invite a trouble we feel satisfied i feel satisfied that you know because of the contribution made by little contribution made by my battalion you know we can also take some credit adorned with three gallantry awards this operation at loktak in which nine militants were neutralized got the colonel a kirti chakra however for sheikh hawad it is his battalion that deserves the real credit heroism for me uh, you know in in this scenario i would say uh, how you are going to act against the adversary or adversity and uh, second thing was second thing is that uh, like in my case uh, this was a team work so i can't say that you know i acted as a hero and you know and it was because of me it was a success it was a team work and i just gave directions and my boys were there with me and they did the job three years have passed then sorab singh shekhawat now leads this battalion of the special forces and is back to his hectic life a commanding officer a man who is looked up by every forgy under him and the story of valor and inspiration is told every day shahidon mein khada hona aasan nahi hota jise ishq haqeeqi ho wahi gardan katata hai 